Hello everyone. Um, once again we've got a video about drawing and this time around we've ended up at uh, so-called mustelids. And mustelids are a collective of rather, well, generally charismatic animals. Namely, they include weasels, badgers, martens, Ma yes, martens, wolverines, uh, otters, and so on. And generally, these are well-liked animals, but they're also rather impressive in the sense that most of them are rather, well, tough bullers and voracious predators, though not all of them are actually uh, pred pred predators. Sorry. Hmm. Now, the, the, the one I've decided to draw from this uh, diverse collective is the giant otter. And the reason for that is that I also always think they look a bit, well, ma uh, maniacal. And there's some reason for that, because these animals are quite the tough and uh, impressive predators when they want to. Here we go. As you can see, I've given it a bit of a maniacal look. Already, I really like that. Let's give it some teeth visible too, like this. So it's looking at us rather, uh, well, frenzied even. I wouldn't like to meet it in a dark alley, just saying that. Okay, so I've decided to do this in a rather, from a rather unusual perspective. So this time around, we're looking the animal uh, on the back. And this is something of an experiment, and we're already filming the whole thing. So let's see whether or not it. Oh, let's see whether or not it works. I keep moving my hand away. Shouldn't do that. So here we are. So I think I've got the uh, the crazy look down pat, more or less. Okay, white throat patch, which is not visible in all of them, but it is visible in this one. Let's draw that back. Mustelids are rather famous for uh, well known for having a bounding gait, which is a result, partly I suppose, of their very elongated bodies and their backs. Ooh, look at that. Yes, your tail is coming along right. So, okay, well, can't be including the entire tail as you can see. My table is a bit too small for that. Or, most, or better said, my uh, paper is a bit too small for that. So we're looking the otter on the back. So I'll also have to include its legs here. Hmm. I should have anchored this piece of paper a bit better, I think. So let's do so. Hmm. This works better, clearly, since it's been a while. I hadn't prepared as much as I should have, I suppose. By the way, um, the last few weeks have been really busy for me, professionally and on the uh, private front, so that's why uh, I haven't been posting, really. Well, let's make this, those feet a bit more impressive. They're webbed and clawed. Hmm, not entirely happy here, but it'll, it'll have to do. So, moving on, to back towards the front. Now... Otters are really muscled, as are, real, as are all mustelids, really. And that should show when you draw them. They may, be, uh, they may look sleek, and they really are, due to uh, being aquatic creatures that have to move through the water uh, smoothly, of course. But at the same time, they're also muscle-bound. And that should show, too. Okay, this one is lying down. Let's draw its body, which is here. Okay, let's give it a bit of mass. After all, the body is in between. Oh, don't forget the hips, or at least some indication of the hips should be there. Now, as you can see, it's only got one front paw at the moment. Let's add another one, and let's add to that creepy vibe by making it, well, wave its claw at us. Here we go. Really, I should focus a bit better. Here we go. Hmm. 
now you can see the webs let's make it wave a bit so it's actually gesturing at us you'd better be afraid given what it, what it looks like anyway here we've got our otter so once again i hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, hopefully till another time